Hi everyone, this is a demo for Sew Up Pro Embroider software. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is how to change the thread order um, here on your right hand panel um, and then join threads. Um, so this is a design that I purchased. Um, it came just like this and the way that um, the digitizer set it up um, and I'll hit the control button and click on each of these numbers so you can see. Um, so what's happening here is that um, um, it was digitized with the placement stitch and then the tack down um, on each one of these elements individually. So placement, then tack down, placement, and tack down, um, and so on and so forth until finally um, the last two stitches are the satin stitches around the applique. It's an applique design. Um, which is it's okay to do that, but it's going to take a bit of time just to go through all those color stops. And so the way that I wanted to stitch this when I did it, um, I wanted to have all of the placement stitches um, down at once, all done at once in my machine. Um, and then I wanted all of the tack down stitches, which are the green ones, um, all done at once. And so to do this, you have to change the thread order. Um, so I know that the pink is a t is the first one. It's a tack. It's a placement stitch. So if you hit the shift key and then just drag and drop the colors that um, you want to move or so I'm just dragging the five up to here between the two and the three um, and then moving the seven up um, here between the three and the four and I'll just drag and I'll drop it. I'll let it, let it go. So now it's doing all of um, my placement stitches. Uh, and the order really here doesn't bother me so much. Um, and then it's going to do all of the tack down um, after you put the applique fabric on. Um, after it's done with all the tack down, you would come, um, you would take it out of your machine, trim around the applique fabric, um, and then come and finish with the satin. Um, and so this is an improvement, but um, every time my machine sees um, a different color box here, it'll stop and I have to hit go again. In order for that not to happen, like I said, I wanted to do all of the placement stitches at one time, I will click on edit, join threads, or you can also do the keyboard shortcut, which is control J. Um, you can click, click here and then you have a couple of options. So uh, uh, so a Pro only joins adjacent threads that are of the same color. So they have to be touching and they have to be the same exact color. Otherwise, they will not be joined. Um, and if you wanted to start, like for example here, I could leave one, two, and, uh, one, two three, and four uh, the way they are and just start joining five, six, seven, eight. I would say join threads the same color, starting at number five, and then it will join all of those. Uh, I don't use that very much when I want to join them. I normally want to cover my entire design. So, so here I'm going to click on join all adjacent threads of the same color. Click on OK. And now my design is only four color stops. So um, it has, again, if you hit control while you click on the color, um, your palette won't pop up. So it'll do all of the placement stitches. Um, then you'll do all of the tack down stitches. And the only thing that you have to be careful um, when you do it this way is that whatever fabric you use and say for the V is not overlapping with the E otherwise it will kind of stay underneath that so you have to be careful when you place it down so that um, you're not overlapping into the next design over um, but this way um, this design is going to do all of the placement then all the tack down trim all the fabric put it back in and then finish with the satin so that's it um, I hope you guys enjoy and happy stitching